Have you ever tried any exotic foods? Yes, I recently tasted sushi for the first time. How was it? I'm a bit nervous to try it. It was delicious. You should give it a try. I'm worried about raw fish, though. Don't worry, there are many vegetarian options too. That's a relief. Where can I find sushi? There's a Japanese restaurant downtown. Is it expensive to eat there? Not really, they have affordable lunch specials. That sounds good. Can you recommend any other exotic foods? You should also try pad thai from a Thai restaurant. What kind of dish is pad thai? It's a stir-fried noodle dish with peanuts and vegetables. That sounds interesting. I'll give it a try too. Great. Trying new foods can be a fun adventure. Starting a new job is exciting, isn't it? Yes, it's a bit overwhelming too. What's your experience? Well, I had to learn new tasks and meet new people. That sounds tough. How did you handle it? I asked questions and observed my colleagues. Good idea. Did you face any challenges? Yes, understanding company policies was tricky. I can relate. How did you overcome that? I read the handbook and asked HR for clarification. Smart move. Any other advice for me? Be open-minded and proactive in learning. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tips. You're welcome. Good luck on your new job. Thank you. I'll do my best. I love exploring new cities. It's so exciting. Me too. You never know what you might discover. Have you found any hidden gems in a city before? Yes, once I found a cute coffee shop tucked away in an alley. That sounds amazing. What did you order? I had a delicious latte and a homemade pastry. Yum. I hope I can find a hidden coffee shop too. You will. Just keep wandering and exploring. I also love stumbling upon local markets. Oh yes, the fresh produce and unique souvenirs are great. Do you have any tips for exploring a new city? Always wear comfortable shoes and bring a map. Good advice. I'll make sure to pack those. Enjoy your adventure and have fun exploring. Hi there. Have you recently moved to a new house? Yes, just settled in. How about you? Same here. Unpacking was tiring, but it's worth it. I agree. Did you hire any movers? No, my friends helped me. How about you? I hired a moving company. It made things easier. That's good to know. Any tips for settling in? Start with unpacking essentials first, like kitchenware. Right, I did that too. What about decorating? I brought some plants to make it feel cozy. That's a nice touch. I need to do the same. Also, hang up some pictures or artwork on the walls. Great idea. It'll add a personal touch to the place. Exactly. 
And don't forget to arrange furniture well. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your new home. Trying a new hobby can be quite exciting, don't you think? Yes, it's a great way to learn something new and have fun. Plus, it can also help us grow as individuals. Absolutely, it pushes us out of our comfort zone. But sometimes it's hard to find time for a new hobby. I agree, managing our time can be a challenge. It's important to prioritize and make a schedule. True, we need to set aside dedicated time for our hobby. And it's rewarding to see ourselves improve over time. Definitely, progress gives us a sense of accomplishment. It can also be a great way to meet new people. Yes, joining a hobby group can lead to new friendships. Overall, trying a new hobby is definitely worth it. I couldn't agree more. Let's give it a try. How do you celebrate birthdays? I usually have a small party at home. That sounds fun. I prefer going out for dinner. That's a great idea, too. Do you get gifts? Yes, I love receiving thoughtful gifts. I like giving handmade presents. That's very thoughtful. What's your favorite gift? I once received a photo album with our memories. That's so sweet. I would cherish something like that. It's always nice to look back on happy times. Absolutely. Birthdays are for creating beautiful memories. I agree. It's a special day to celebrate and appreciate. I always feel grateful for another year of life. Me too. Birthdays remind us of the joy in our lives. Starting a fitness routine can be intimidating. Yes, it's important to start slowly and set realistic goals. I agree. What exercises do you enjoy? I like jogging and doing yoga at home. That sounds fun. I struggle with motivation though. Find a workout buddy or join a fitness class. Good idea. What about diet? Any tips? Eat balanced meals with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Makes sense. How often should I work out? Aim for at least 3 to 5 days a week for 30 minutes. Okay, I'll give it a try. Any other advice? Stay consistent and listen to your body. Good luck. Thanks. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Hi, do you have any tips for surviving a power outage? Yes, always have flashlights and extra batteries on hand. That's a good idea. Did you have a recent power outage? Yes, last week there was a storm and we lost electricity. Oh no, how did you manage without power? We used candles and played board games to pass the time. That sounds fun. Did you have enough food and water? Yes, we had stocked up on non-perishable items beforehand. Smart move. I'll make sure to do that next time. It's also important to unplug appliances during an outage. I didn't know that. Thanks for the tip.
You're welcome. Safety should always be a priority. Absolutely. Is there anything else I should know? Keep a battery-powered radio for updates during emergencies. Great advice. I'll make a note of that. Thank you. No problem. Stay safe and prepared for any situation. You too. It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care and have a great day. I love gardening. It's so relaxing. Me too. Watching plants grow is rewarding. What types of plants do you have? I have roses, tomatoes, and herbs. That sounds lovely. How do you maintain them? I water them regularly and remove weeds. Do you use any fertilizers or pesticides? No, I prefer organic methods. That's great. Do you have any tips for beginners? Start small and choose plants that are easy to grow. I'll keep that in mind. Any other advice? Patience is key. Some plants take time to bloom. I'll be patient. Is gardening expensive? Not really. Seeds and soil are affordable. That's good to know. I'll give it a try. You'll enjoy it. It's a satisfying hobby. Cooking is such a useful skill to have. Absolutely, it's great to be able to make your own meals. I've been starting with easy recipes, like pasta and eggs. That's a good way to learn the basics. What's next? I want to try making a curry from scratch. That sounds challenging but delicious. I found a recipe online, and I bought the ingredients. Great. When are you planning to make it? Tomorrow evening. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm sure it will be amazing. Enjoy the process. Thank you. I hope it becomes one of my specialties. With practice, you'll become a great cook in no time. I can't wait to impress my friends and family. Cooking is a wonderful way to bring people together. That's true. It's more than just preparing food. It's a way to show love and care. Enjoy your journey. I love reading books. Me too. It's a great way to relax. Have you ever thought about starting a book club? That's a great idea. It would be fun to discuss books with others. Yes, we could recommend books to each other. And we could have interesting discussions about the stories. It would be a nice way to make new friends, too. Definitely. We could meet regularly and bond over our love for books. We could also learn different perspectives from others. That's true. It would broaden our understanding of different genres. We can choose a book and assign chapters to read each week. That way, everyone can participate in the discussion. Let's invite more book lovers to join our club. Yes, the more the merrier. We can create a group online. I'm excited to start this book club. Me too. Let's spread the joy of reading together. I love going to the beach. It's so relaxing. Me too. 
I enjoy swimming in the ocean. The sound of waves is so soothing, isn't it? Yes, it helps me unwind and forget about everything else. I also like building sandcastles with my family. That sounds like a lot of fun. I should try it too. You should. It's a great way to bond with loved ones. Plus, it brings out the creative side in all of us. Definitely. And don't forget about the sunbathing. Ah, yes. Lying on the warm sand is pure bliss. Just make sure to apply sunscreen to protect your skin. Will do. Safety first, even at the beach. Absolutely. And let's not forget about beach picnics. Oh, yes. Packing some delicious snacks is a must. Going to the beach is the perfect way to relax and have fun. Starting a new workout routine can be tough, right? Yeah, it's challenging, but the benefits are worth it. I want to set goals. How about you? Goals are important. They keep us motivated. What goals do you have in mind? I want to lose weight and build strength. Those are great goals. How will you stay motivated? I'll find a workout buddy and track my progress. That sounds like a good plan. Can I join you? Of course. We can keep each other accountable. Thanks. How often do you plan to work out? I aim for at least three times a week. And you? Same here. Let's make it a habit together. Agreed. Consistency is key for progress. Did you survive the storm last night? Yes, it was scary. How about you? We were prepared. We stocked up on supplies. Smart move. What did you buy? We got water, canned food, and batteries. Good choices. Did you watch the news? Yes, we stayed informed about the storm. That's important. Did you lose power? Thankfully, we didn't lose power. Lucky you. Our power was out for hours. That must have been difficult. Are you okay? Yes, we managed with flashlights and candles. It's important to be prepared for emergencies. Absolutely. I'll stock up for the next storm. That's a wise decision. Stay safe next time. Thank you. You too. Let's help each other. Definitely. Neighbors should always support each other. Camping is so much fun, don't you think? Yes, I love being in nature and exploring. Setting up tents can be tricky, but it's worth it. I agree, it feels good to have our own little home. And the campfire is the best part, roasting marshmallows. Definitely, nothing beats the taste of a perfectly toasted marshmallow. Plus, we can share stories and sing songs around the fire. It's like creating memories that will last forever. I also enjoy hiking and seeing beautiful scenery. Walking through the woods is so peaceful and refreshing. And at night, the stars look amazing without city lights. Nature has a way of making us appreciate its beauty. 
I can't wait for our next camping trip. It's always exciting. Me too. It's an adventure every time we go camping. Hi. Have you ever used public transportation before? Yes. I take the bus to work every day. That's convenient. How do you navigate the bus route? I use a map and the bus schedule to plan my trip. How do you know which bus to take? I check the route number and the destination on the bus. Do you have to buy a ticket every time? No, I have a monthly pass, so I just show it to the driver. That's great. Is the bus always on time? Not always, but I check the schedule and plan accordingly. How do you know where to get off? I count the number of stops or ask the driver for help. Do you find public transportation reliable? Mostly, but I always have a backup plan just in case. Have you ever gotten lost using public transportation? Yes, once, but I asked for directions and found my way. Do you have any tips for someone new to public transportation? Plan ahead, double check the schedule, and stay alert. Do you like going to the farmer's market? Yes, I love it. The produce is always so fresh. I agree. And it's great to support local businesses. Definitely. I also enjoy the homemade crafts there. Me too. It's nice to see unique and handmade items. Plus, the atmosphere is always so lively and fun. That's true. It's a nice break from the supermarket. And it's a great way to try new fruits and vegetables. Absolutely. I've discovered some amazing ones there. Same here. It's a real treat for the taste buds. I always leave feeling inspired to cook something healthy. Yes, the farmer's market is a great source of inspiration. I'm glad we both enjoy going there. It's such a joy. Hi, how was your date last night? It was amazing. We went to a nice restaurant. That sounds lovely. Did you have good conversation? Yes, we talked about our interests and future plans. That's great. Do you think it will become something more serious? I'm not sure yet. It's still early in the relationship. Take your time and enjoy getting to know each other. Thanks. I'm excited to see where it leads. Just remember to communicate and be honest with each other. Definitely, that's important for any relationship. And don't be afraid to ask for what you want or need. That's good advice. I'll keep that in mind. I wish you all the best in this new chapter of your life. Thank you. I appreciate your support. I love road trips. So much freedom and adventure. Me too. Where should we go on our next trip? How about planning a route and see where we end up? Good idea. We can explore new destinations along the way. Let's pack snacks and make a playlist for the drive. I'll bring some fruit and sandwiches. What about you? I'll grab some chips and drinks for the journey. Perfect. 
We'll have everything we need for a great trip. I can't wait to hit the road and start exploring. It's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited. Maybe we can find some hidden gems off the beaten path. That's the best part of road trips, discovering new places. We should also take lots of pictures to remember the trip. Definitely. Capturing those memories is important. Let's make sure to enjoy every moment of our adventure. Absolutely. It's all about the journey, not just the destination. I'm scared of heights. How do you face it? Start small, like climbing a ladder or going on a low roller coaster. What if I get too scared? Take deep breaths, focus, and remind yourself it's just temporary. Do you have any other tips? Visualize success and imagine yourself conquering your fear. That sounds helpful. What else? Gradually increase the height challenges to build confidence. That makes sense. Is there anything else? Surround yourself with supportive and encouraging friends. Good idea. Can I ask for help when needed? Absolutely. Don't hesitate to ask for support when you need it. Thank you for the advice. I'll give it a try. You're welcome. I believe in you. You can overcome your fear. Hi. Do you ever feel shy in social situations? Yes, I often feel nervous when meeting new people. Me too. How do you overcome your shyness? I try to take deep breaths and remind myself to stay calm. That's a good technique. I also practice positive self-talk. What do you say to yourself in those situations? I tell myself that I'm confident and capable of making friends. That's a great mindset to have. I will try that too. Another tip is to smile and make eye contact with others. Yes, it shows that we are friendly and approachable. Exactly. And remember, everyone feels shy sometimes. You're right. It's important to remember we're not alone. We can support each other in overcoming shyness. Yes, let's keep practicing and gaining confidence together. I'm glad we had this conversation. It's helpful. Me too. Let's continue encouraging each other. I love visiting museums. They are so interesting. Me too. I enjoy learning about different cultures. Which is your favorite museum? I really like the Art Museum downtown. I like the History Museum near my house. What type of art do you enjoy the most? I appreciate all kinds of art, but I love paintings. I find sculptures fascinating. They have so much detail. That's true. Sculptures can be very intricate. Have you been to any famous museums abroad? No, but I hope to visit some in the future. Let's plan a trip together to see different museums. That sounds like a great idea. I can't wait. Learning to ride a bike is so exciting, isn't it? Yes, it feels great to finally ride without training wheels. 
I remember the first time I balanced myself on two wheels. It was challenging, but the sense of accomplishment was amazing. Did you find pedaling difficult at first? It took a few tries, but it became easier with practice. I felt so proud when I could pedal and steer confidently. It's such a fun and freeing experience, isn't it? Absolutely. Riding a bike gives a sense of joy and freedom. Plus, it's a great way to explore and enjoy the outdoors. I love the feeling of the wind in my hair when I ride. It's like a mini-adventure every time you hop on a bike. I'm glad we learned to ride. It's a lifelong skill. I couldn't agree more, and it's great for staying active too. Let's go for a bike ride together soon. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Let's do it. Do you ever struggle with procrastination? All the time. It's hard to stay motivated. I know what you mean. What techniques do you use? I try to break tasks into smaller, manageable parts. That's a good idea. I also make to-do lists. To-do lists help me stay organized and focused. I find it helpful to set deadlines for myself. Deadlines create a sense of urgency for me too. Sometimes, I reward myself after completing a task. That's a great way to stay motivated and feel accomplished. I also find it helpful to eliminate distractions. Yes, turning off my phone helps me stay focused. It's a constant battle, but we can overcome it. Definitely. We just need to stay disciplined and persistent. Let's motivate each other and overcome procrastination. I agree. Together, we can achieve our goals. Have you started learning how to drive? Yes, I'm studying the road rules now. It's exciting to gain independence, isn't it? Definitely. I can't wait to drive on my own. Remember to practice safe driving habits. I will. Safety is important on the road. Have you scheduled your driving test yet? Not yet, but I will soon. Good luck. Passing the test is a great achievement. Thank you. I'll work hard to pass it. Once you get your license, where will you go first? Probably to visit my friends and family. That sounds like a great plan. Enjoy your freedom. Thanks, I'm really excited about it. Just remember to always be a responsible driver. I will, safety is my top priority. I'm excited about the family reunion. Are you going? Yes, I can't wait to see everyone. It's been so long. I hope we can catch up with distant relatives. Me too. I miss the memories we shared. Remember when we used to play games together? Yes, those were the best times of my life. I hope we can make new memories this time. Absolutely. Let's cherish each moment together. Do you remember Aunt Clara's delicious recipes? Oh yes, her apple pie was always a hit. I hope someone brings it to the reunion. 
Me too, it wouldn't be the same without it. Let's make sure to take lots of photos this time. Agreed. We'll have memories to treasure forever. I'm grateful for these family reunions. Me too. They bring us closer as a family. Starting a collection can be so fun. What do you collect? I collect stamps. They're small and have interesting designs. That's cool. How did you start collecting stamps? My grandpa gave me his old stamp album as a gift. What a thoughtful gift. Do you have any rare stamps? Yes, I have a few rare ones from different countries. Wow, that must be exciting. Do you collect anything else? Yes, I also collect action figures. I love superheroes. I used to collect action figures too. Which ones do you have? I have Batman, Spider-Man, and Iron Man figures. That's awesome. Do you display them or keep them in boxes? I display them on shelves in my room. It looks cool. It must be nice to have a personalized collection like that. Definitely. It's a great way to show my interests. I agree. Collecting things adds a personal touch to our lives. Exactly. It brings joy and a sense of accomplishment. I might start a collection too. Any advice for beginners? Start with something you love and take time to research it. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Have you ever been to a theme park before? Yes, I love the thrill and excitement of roller coasters. Me too. The feeling of your stomach dropping is exhilarating. Absolutely. What's your favorite roller coaster? I really enjoyed the big loop on the red roller coaster. Oh, I remember that one. It was so fast and thrilling. Did you try any water rides at the theme park? Yes, the log flume was my favorite. We got soaked. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'll try it next time. You definitely should. It's a great way to cool off. I heard there's a new ride coming soon. Can't wait. Me neither. I love trying out new exhilarating rides. We should plan another trip to the theme park soon. I'm in. Let's experience more adrenaline rush together. That sounds like a plan. We'll have a blast for sure. Absolutely. Can't wait for the next adventure. Moving to a new country can be exciting, don't you think? Definitely. It's a chance to explore new cultures. And it's a great opportunity to learn a new language too. Yes, but at first it can be difficult to communicate. That's true. But with practice, it gets easier over time. I'm worried about making friends in a new place. Don't worry. People are usually friendly and welcoming. I hope so. Adapting to a new culture sounds challenging. It may be, but it's also rewarding and eye-opening. I'm excited to try new food and experience new traditions. That's one of the best parts. You'll have amazing experiences. I can't wait to start this new chapter in my life. It will be an adventure you'll never forget, for sure. 
Thank you for being so supportive. I really appreciate it. Of course. I'm here for you every step of the way. Hey, did you attend the graduation ceremony? It was amazing. Yes, the atmosphere was so joyful. How did your friend feel? My friend was beyond happy. It's such a milestone. Graduating is a big achievement. What are their future plans? They want to study engineering at university. How about yours? My sister will start working as a nurse in the local hospital. That's fantastic. A rewarding career choice for her. Absolutely. She's excited to help others. Any party plans? We're throwing a surprise party with close friends and family. That's thoughtful. What about gifts? Any ideas for that? We got a personalized photo album filled with memories. That's a wonderful gift. It shows the bond you share. Yes, we wanted something special and meaningful. I'm sure your friend will cherish it forever. I want to buy a new car. That's exciting. What type of car are you considering? I'm researching compact cars for good mileage. That's a wise choice. Have you test driven any models yet? Yes, I tried two different cars yesterday. How did they compare in terms of comfort and handling? One was more comfortable, but the other had better handling. What about the price difference between the two? The comfortable one was slightly more expensive. Did you also check their safety features? Yes, both cars had good safety ratings. That's important. Do you have any other considerations? I also want a car with low maintenance costs. You should read reviews on reliability then. That's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Good luck with your car search. I love nature. It's so peaceful and calming. Me too. Walking in nature helps me relax. Let's plan a nature walk this weekend. That sounds perfect. Where should we go? How about the park nearby? It's beautiful. Great idea. I'll bring my camera for photos. Don't forget snacks and water, too. Good point. We'll need to stay hydrated. It'll be nice to breathe fresh air and enjoy the scenery. Yes, we can admire the trees and listen to the birds. Nature walks always make me feel grounded. It's a wonderful escape from our busy lives. We should do this more often, don't you think? Definitely. Nature brings us peace and happiness. Hi, have you ever been to a job interview? Yes, I have. It can be nerve-wracking. How about you? I have as well. Any tips on how to prepare? Definitely. First, research the company and dress professionally. Good point. What about during the interview? It's important to make eye contact and speak confidently. That makes sense. What if they ask about weaknesses? Be honest but focus on how you're improving them. Great advice. What about asking questions? 
Ask about company culture or opportunities for growth. I'll keep that in mind. How to end the interview. Thank the interviewer and express your interest in the role. Thanks for sharing your tips. I feel more prepared now. You're welcome. Good luck with your job search. I got promoted today. Such a great feeling. Congrats. You've worked hard for it. Thank you. I've been waiting for this moment. What's your new position? I'm now a team leader. Excited for the challenge. That's impressive. You'll do great. I can't wait to start and make a difference. I'm sure you'll excel in your new role. I'll celebrate this achievement tonight. How are you planning to celebrate? Going out with friends for dinner and drinks. Enjoy your well-deserved celebration. Thanks. I'll cherish this opportunity. You deserve all the success. Congrats again. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you. Want to go on a day trip this weekend? Sounds fun. Where should we go? How about exploring some nearby towns? That sounds adventurous. Any suggestions? We can visit the old town and try local cuisine. Great idea. What time should we leave? Let's meet at 8 a.m. to avoid traffic. Sounds good. Should we pack some snacks? Yes. Let's bring sandwiches and fruits. Don't forget the sunscreen and a map. Of course. We'll need those. Excited? Me too. It'll be such a fun adventure. I can't wait to explore new places with you. Same here, it'll be a day to remember. Starting a savings plan is really important, don't you think? I agree. It's a good way to achieve financial goals. How do you set your financial goals? I think about what I want to save for, like a vacation or emergency fund. That makes sense. How do you budget your expenses? I track my income and expenses and allocate money for savings. Have you found any techniques helpful? Yes, I try to cut unnecessary expenses and save that money instead. I struggle with that sometimes. Any tips? Maybe start small and gradually increase savings over time. That sounds doable. Any other advice on saving money? Automate your savings so it's easier to stick to the plan. Good idea. How long have you been saving? I started a few years ago, and it feels great to see my savings grow. I'm motivated now. I'll start my savings plan too. That's great. Remember, every little bit adds up over time. Thank you for the advice. I'm excited to begin. You're welcome. Good luck on your savings journey. Local markets are amazing, aren't they? Yes, they have such a vibrant atmosphere. And the variety of fresh produce is incredible. I love trying different local fruits. Me too. Have you tried the exotic ones? Not yet, but I'm excited to taste them. 
Don't forget to try the street food too. I've heard they have delicious snacks. Absolutely. And there are also handmade crafts. I enjoy supporting local artisans. It's a great way to bring home unique souvenirs. Yes, and it helps the local economy too. Exploring markets is a rich cultural experience. It's like diving into the heart of a community. I recently took a cooking class. It was so much fun. That sounds great. What did you learn to cook? We learned to make homemade pasta from scratch. Wow, that must have been challenging. How did it turn out? It was a bit difficult at first, but it turned out delicious. I've always wanted to learn how to make pasta. Can you teach me? Sure. We can plan a cooking day at my place. It'll be fun. That sounds like a great idea. I'll bring the ingredients. Perfect. We can also try making different sauces for the pasta. That sounds like a fun experiment. I'm excited to try it. It's always nice to learn new cooking skills and try new recipes. I agree. It keeps the kitchen exciting and the taste buds happy. Plus, you can impress your friends and family with your new skills. Absolutely. I can't wait to show off my homemade pasta. You'll do great. Cooking is all about practice and creativity. Thank you for inspiring me to take a cooking class. I can't wait to learn. How do you commute to work? I ride my bike. It's healthy and saves money. That's great. I take the bus to work every day. How long is your bus ride? It takes about 30 minutes on the bus. My bike ride is about 20 minutes. Do you encounter any interesting things? Yes, I once saw a squirrel chasing a bird. That sounds exciting. I see many different people on the bus. Have you made any friends on the bus? Yes, I have a few people I chat with regularly. That's nice. I enjoy the peace and quiet on my bike. I can understand that. It must be nice to have fresh air. Yes, it's refreshing. Do you want to try biking someday? Maybe I will. It sounds like a fun experience. Hi, do you enjoy weekend getaways? Yes, I love exploring new places. What about you? Same here. I'm researching nearby destinations. That sounds exciting. What are our options? We can visit a lively city or a peaceful seaside town. I prefer a peaceful town. Any suggestions? How about a charming seaside town? It's known for its tranquility. Sounds perfect. Will there be things to do there? Yes, we can relax on the beach or take a scenic walk. That sounds lovely. What about accommodation? I found a cozy cottage near the beach. It's affordable too. Great choice. Let's go ahead and book it then. All right. I'll take care of the booking. Excited for our trip. Me too. It will be a refreshing weekend getaway.
Meal planning is so important for saving time and money. I agree. I always make a list before going grocery shopping. That's a great idea. It helps me stick to my budget. It really does. I also try to buy seasonal produce on sale. I do the same. It's fresher and cheaper that way. Plus, I like to buy in bulk when I can. Saves money. Oh, I love buying in bulk too. It lasts longer too. Exactly. And then I can prep and freeze meals. Freezing meals is a great time saver during the week. Definitely. Do you have any favorite recipes to share? I love making homemade pasta sauce. So delicious. Yum. I enjoy making stir fry with lots of veggies. That sounds delicious. I'll have to try it sometime. I can give you the recipe. It's super easy and quick. That would be great. Thanks for the offer. Regular exercise can do wonders for our health. I agree. It keeps us strong and improves our mood. It also boosts our energy levels throughout the day. Right. I love going for a run in the mornings. Running is great. I prefer practicing yoga though. Yoga sounds relaxing. What about nutritious meals? Nutritious meals provide essential nutrients for our body. Absolutely. They keep us fit and help prevent diseases. I enjoy having a colorful salad with grilled chicken. That sounds delicious. I like to make veggie stir fries. Oh, I love stir fries too. What's your favorite exercise? I enjoy cycling. It's a great way to explore nature too. That sounds fun. We should plan an outdoor activity. Definitely. Let's go hiking next weekend, if you're up for it. I'd love that. It'll be a great way to stay healthy together. Do you have any special family traditions? Yes, we celebrate a big feast on Thanksgiving. That sounds nice. What do you do during the feast? We cook turkey, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie. Yummy. Do you have any other traditions? Every Christmas we decorate a tree and exchange gifts. That sounds like a fun tradition. Anything else? On New Year's Eve, we watch fireworks and make resolutions. That's a great way to start the new year. Any more? Yes, every Easter we paint and hunt for colorful eggs. Oh, I used to do that too when I was a kid. It's a fun tradition for the whole family. What about you? Well, on birthdays, we always have a big family gathering. That's nice. Do you have any special birthday rituals? We sing happy birthday and blow out candles on the cake. Sounds like a lovely tradition. I enjoyed sharing our traditions. Me too. It's interesting to learn about different customs. Do you have any New Year's resolutions for this year? Yes, I want to exercise regularly and eat healthier. That's great. How do you plan to stay motivated? I'll find a workout buddy and cook nutritious meals at home. Good idea. My resolution is to save money. 
How will you achieve that? I'll create a budget and track my expenses each month. That sounds practical. Another resolution I have is to read more books. That's a great goal. How will you make time for reading? I'll set aside 30 minutes every night before bed. That's a good strategy. My last resolution is to learn a new skill. That's exciting. Which skill do you want to learn? I want to learn how to play the guitar. That's awesome. You can start by taking beginner lessons online. That's a good idea. I'll look for some online courses. What time do you usually wake up in the morning? I wake up at 7 a.m. every day. And you? I wake up at 6.30. Do you have a morning routine? Yes, after waking up, I shower and have breakfast. How about you? I also shower and have breakfast. Then I brush my teeth. That's a good routine. Do you have any time-saving tips? Yes, I lay out my clothes the night before to save time. That's a great idea. I should try that. What do you do next? After getting dressed, I make my bed. How about you? I usually make my bed too. It helps to start the day fresh. It definitely does. What's your next task in the morning? I pack my lunch and prepare my bag for work. How about you? I do the same. It helps me stay organized for the day. It sounds like we have similar morning routines. Yes, we do. It's important to have a consistent schedule. I agree. It keeps us focused and maximizes productivity. Do you think we depend too much on technology? Absolutely. It's changed everything. How has it affected our relationships? We communicate less face-to-face -face now. That's true. But technology also helps us stay connected. You're right. It's a double-edged sword. Have you ever experienced negative effects? Yes, I sometimes feel disconnected from reality. I understand. It's important to find a balance. Definitely. We need to limit screen time. But it's also convenient for work and productivity. True, but it shouldn't replace real interactions. I agree. Let's make an effort to disconnect sometimes. Sounds good. We should enjoy the present moment. Exactly. Technology shouldn't control our lives. Let's use it wisely and not let it consume us. Agreed. Balance is key for a healthy lifestyle. It's important for our mental and emotional well-being. Hi. Have you thought about our summer vacation yet? Yes, I have. I'm thinking about going to a beach. That sounds great. Any specific beach in mind? I heard Malibu Beach is beautiful. What do you think? Malibu Beach sounds perfect. Shall we research more about it? Definitely. Let's find out about the weather and activities there. We should also check for affordable accommodations nearby. Good idea. We can save money on accommodation. Do you have any travel tips for beach vacations? 
Remember to pack sunscreen, hats, and beach towels. And don't forget our swimsuits and sunglasses. Right, we should also bring a beach umbrella for shade. I'm really looking forward to relaxing on the beach. Me too. It's going to be an amazing summer vacation. Moving to a new city can be scary. Can you relate? Absolutely. I recently moved to a big city. How did you handle the adjustment? It was challenging in the beginning. Finding friends was tough. I understand. Did you join any social groups? Yes, I joined a book club and a fitness class. That's a great way to meet new people. It definitely helped me feel less lonely. Did you face any other challenges? Yes, the different environment took time to get used to. I can imagine. What was the hardest part for you? The fast-paced lifestyle was overwhelming at first. How did you cope with it? I tried to take things one step at a time and not rush. That's a good strategy. Are you enjoying your new city now? Yes, I am. It's become my home away from home. I'm glad to hear that. Moving can be an adventure. Definitely. It's taught me a lot about myself. I love DIY projects. Do you have any favorites? Yes, I enjoy upcycling furniture. It's fun and saves money. That sounds interesting. Any tips on how to start? Sure. Start with small items like side tables or chairs. Good idea. What materials do I need for upcycling? Sandpaper, paint, brushes, and maybe some new knobs. Where can I find these materials? You can try local hardware stores or online shops. Thanks for the advice. What about gardening projects? Gardening projects can be as simple as planting herbs. Can you suggest any easy-to-grow herbs for beginners? Basil, mint, and parsley are great choices to start with. I'll give it a try. Any tips for successful gardening? Water plants regularly and give them enough sunlight. I'll keep that in mind. What about crafting projects? Crafting can be anything from making jewelry to knitting. I've always wanted to learn how to knit. Any tips? Start with a simple scarf using basic knitting stitches. I'll give it a try. Thanks for all the great tips. You're welcome. Have fun with your DIY projects. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. I accomplished my work task yesterday. That's fantastic. What was the task? I finished organizing all the files for the project. Well done. What's your next goal at work? I want to improve my communication skills. That's a great goal. How will you achieve it? I will attend a workshop and practice with colleagues. Excellent. On a personal note, I ran 5 kilometers yesterday. Congratulations. Did you have a fitness goal? Yes, I wanted to improve my endurance. That's impressive. What's your next fitness goal? 
I plan to start strength training at the gym. That's a good idea. It will help you become stronger. Thank you. I'm excited for this new challenge. I believe in you. You can achieve anything you want. Thanks for your support. Let's celebrate our accomplishments. Definitely. Cheers to our personal achievements. Have you visited the famous cathedral downtown? Yes, it's breathtaking. Have you been to the park nearby? No, I haven't. Is it a hidden gem? Definitely. It's peaceful and has beautiful gardens. That sounds lovely. Any other must-visit attractions? The old town is charming, with historic buildings and shops. I'll add it to my list. How about museums? The art museum is impressive. They have famous paintings. I enjoy art, so I'll make sure to visit it. Don't forget the local market. It's lively and has delicious food. That's a great recommendation. I love trying new dishes. I'm glad you liked it. Any other hidden gems you know? There's a cozy cafe downtown with the best pastries. Oh, I haven't been there. I'll check it out soon. You'll love it. It's a perfect spot for a coffee break. I can't wait to explore all these amazing places. Hey, have you ever celebrated a milestone birthday or anniversary? Yes, I turned 30 last year. How about you? I just celebrated my parents' 50th anniversary. That's amazing. Did you do something special? Yes, we threw a surprise party for them. Wow, what a great idea. How did they react? They were so happy and surprised. It made their day. I can imagine. Milestones should be celebrated uniquely. Definitely. It's a special moment in someone's life. Any other creative ideas to celebrate a milestone? A trip or organizing a themed party can be fun too. True. Making memories is what matters the most. Exactly. It's all about creating unforgettable moments. I completely agree. Celebrations bring people closer. Indeed. It strengthens bonds and shows love and care. Celebrating milestones is important for everyone. Absolutely. Let's plan something special for us too. I'm up for it. Let's make it a memorable experience. I'm so excited about planning a road trip. Me too. I love the freedom of the open road. I was thinking we could take the coastal route. That sounds perfect. The ocean views will be amazing. I heard there's a famous lighthouse along the way. Let's definitely stop there and take some photos. We should also check out the quaint seaside towns. Good idea. I'm excited to try the local seafood. And maybe we can find some cool roadside attractions. Yes, like giant sculptures or unique museums. It'll be fun to explore new destinations together. Absolutely. I can't wait to see what we'll discover. We should pack some snacks for the drive, too. Definitely. And don't forget the road trip playlist.
This road trip is going to be an unforgettable adventure. I can't wait to hit the road and start making memories. Have you ever tried any exotic cuisines? Yes, I love exploring new flavors. Do you have any recommendations? Indian food is amazing. I highly recommend trying butter chicken. That sounds delicious. What other Indian dishes should I try? Non bread with curry and biryani or must haves as well. I've never had non bread before. What does it taste like? It's soft, fluffy, and goes perfectly with spicy curry. I'll definitely give it a try. Any other cuisines you like? Thai food is fantastic. Pad Thai is a popular dish you should try. I've heard of it but never tried. What's in Pad Thai? It's stir-fried noodles with peanuts, bean sprouts, and shrimp. Sounds interesting. What about desserts from different cuisines? Have you tasted Japanese mochi? It's a sweet rice cake. No, I haven't. What flavors are available for mochi? You can find flavors like matcha, red bean, and strawberry. I'll make sure to look for it. Thanks for the recommendations. Hi, have you noticed how our environment is changing? Yes, it's a big concern. We should take care of it. Absolutely. We can start by reducing our waste. Good idea. We can recycle and compost our food waste. That's right. It's also important to conserve energy. We can turn off lights when not needed and unplug devices. Exactly. We should also use public transportation more. Agreed. It reduces air pollution and saves fuel. Another way is to use reusable bags instead of plastic ones. Yes, and we can also avoid buying single-use plastic bottles. Definitely. Let's also plant trees and support wildlife conservation. Great suggestion. We must protect our natural resources. Lastly, let's spread awareness about the environment. Yes, we can educate others about the importance of conservation. Together, we can make a difference for a greener future. Absolutely. Let's do our part and inspire others too. What plants do well in cold climates? Roses and tulips thrive. How about you? I grow pansies and daisies. They survive too. How do you compost? Any tips for beginners? Use kitchen scraps and mix with leaves. It's easy. I struggle with weeds. Any advice there? Mulching helps prevent weed growth. Try it. What do you love most about gardening? It's therapeutic. Seeing plants grow brings joy. I agree. The satisfaction is priceless, right? Absolutely. Plus, fresh flowers and veggies to enjoy. It's amazing how nature provides for us, isn't it? It truly is. Gardening is a gift we can treasure. Diversity is such an important aspect of society, don't you think? Absolutely. It brings together different cultures and perspectives. I remember when I met someone from a different cultural background. 
What was that experience like for you? It was fascinating to learn about their unique traditions and customs. I had a similar experience when I traveled to a different country. Tell me more about it. I'd love to hear. Well, I was amazed by the vibrant festivals they celebrated. That sounds incredible. Did you join in on the festivities? Yes, I did. It was a great opportunity to embrace their culture. I believe celebrating diversity makes our world a better place. I couldn't agree more. It promotes understanding and acceptance. Absolutely. We should always strive to learn from one another. It's through these interactions that we grow as individuals. I'm grateful for the chance to meet people from different backgrounds. Me too. It has definitely broadened my perspective on life. Let's continue to cherish and embrace the richness of diversity. Online learning is very convenient, don't you think? Yes, it's great for learning at our own pace. I've learned so much through online courses. Me too. I love how accessible it is. It's also affordable compared to traditional classes. Absolutely. I save a lot of money that way. What online courses have you taken? I've taken coding and photography courses. That's interesting. I've tried language courses. Did you find them helpful? Yes, they improved my speaking skills a lot. That's great. I might try language courses too. I highly recommend it. They're interactive. I'll definitely give it a try. Thanks. You're welcome. Happy learning. Same to you. Enjoy your courses. Work-life balance can be tough. How do you handle it? I make a schedule and stick to it. It helps me prioritize. That's a good idea. I struggle with time management. Try breaking tasks into smaller ones to make them manageable. That could help. How about stress reduction? I meditate daily. It relaxes my mind and reduces stress. I haven't tried meditation. Any other tips? Exercise regularly and make time for hobbies you enjoy. Exercise sounds like a great stress reliever. It is. It also boosts energy levels throughout the day. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Remember, taking breaks is important too. I tend to forget that. I'll make sure to take breaks. That'll make a big difference. Good luck finding balance. Hi there. How do you make new friends? I join community events. How about you? Same. I also attend workshops. That's a great way to meet like-minded people. Any tips for starting conversations? Asking about hobbies is a good icebreaker. I'll try that next time. How about building friendships? It takes time and effort. Being kind and supportive helps. I agree. It's important to listen and show empathy. Definitely. Trust and mutual respect are key too. Do you have any personal experiences to share? Once, I met a friend at a language exchange group. 
That sounds fun. Was it easy to strike a conversation? Yes, we started by talking about our favorite cuisines. Food always brings people together, right? Absolutely. It's a universal interest. Thanks for the advice. I feel more confident now. You're welcome. Good luck with making new friends. Do you have any effective strategies for managing time? Yes, I prioritize tasks based on importance and deadlines. That sounds helpful. How do you avoid distractions? I turn off my phone notifications and limit time on social media. Good idea. I struggle with procrastination. Any tips? Break tasks into smaller steps and set deadlines for each. I'll try that. How do you stay focused on tasks? I create a quiet and organized workspace for better concentration. I get easily overwhelmed by too many tasks. Any advice? Make a to-do list and tackle one task at a time. That makes sense. Is there anything else you do? I schedule regular breaks to recharge and avoid burnout. I often feel stressed. How do you manage stress? I practice deep breathing and exercise to relieve stress. I'll start doing that. Thanks for the helpful tips. You're welcome. Let's support each other to stay productive. Absolutely. We can achieve our goals efficiently together. Taking breaks from technology is so important. I agree. It helps us find balance in life. I recently had a digital detox weekend. How was it? Did you enjoy the break? It was amazing. I felt more present and relaxed. That's great to hear. I should try it too. Definitely. It's refreshing and good for mental health. I feel like I'm always glued to my phone. It's easy to get caught up in the virtual world. I miss enjoying real-life moments without distractions. That's exactly why a digital detox is beneficial. I'm going to plan one for next weekend. You won't regret it, trust me. I'm looking forward to unplugging and relaxing. It's like a mini-vacation for your mind and soul. Hi, have you tried any mindfulness practices? Yes, I started meditation recently. It's so calming. That's great. I also practice deep breathing. Deep breathing is helpful too. It eases my anxiety. I agree. It helps me relax and be more present. How often do you meditate or do deep breathing? I try to meditate for 10 minutes every morning. That's admirable. I do deep breathing twice a day. How has mindfulness impacted your well-being? It has improved my focus and reduced stress levels. That's amazing. I feel more at peace and balanced. Mindfulness truly benefits our mental health. Definitely. It's important to prioritize self-care. I completely agree. Let's continue practicing mindfulness. Hi there. Do you have any tips for managing personal finance? Definitely. Creating a budget is key.
It helps track expenses. How can I set realistic savings goals within my budget? Start by saving a small percentage of your income each month. That sounds doable. Any other savings tips you can share? Yes. Try automating your savings. It's easier to save consistently. That's a great idea. How can I achieve financial stability? Besides saving, consider investing and diversifying your income. Investing? Can you explain how it works briefly? Sure. Investing is putting money into assets to gain returns. Is it risky to invest? I'm not sure about the risks. There are risks, but diversifying investments can mitigate them. Makes sense. What can I do to increase my income streams? You can explore freelancing or starting a side business. That's interesting. How can I balance my income and expenses? Track your spending and find ways to cut unnecessary expenses. I'll definitely give it a try. Thanks for the tips, they're helpful. You're welcome. Let me know if you have more questions. Hi, have you started planning for the party? Yes, I have, but I'm not sure about the theme. How about a beach theme? It's fun and easy to decorate. That's a great idea. We can have inflatable palm trees too. And don't forget the beach ball decorations. Good point. What about the food? Any suggestions? We could do a barbecue with burgers and hot dogs. That sounds delicious. We can also have fruit skewers. Great idea. And for drinks, we could have tropical punch. Perfect. We can also prepare some ice cream sundaes. That's a crowd favorite. Are you inviting a lot of people? Yes, around 30 friends and family members. Make sure to make a list and send out the invitations early. Of course, I'll take care of that. Thanks for the tips. No problem. Let me know if you need any help with anything. Will do. I appreciate it. The party will be a blast. I used to be terrified of public speaking. Really? I also struggle with that fear. It was tough, but I joined a public speaking club. That's brave. How did you overcome your fear? I practiced a lot and got feedback from others. I should try that. What if I forget my lines? Take notes as a backup and practice, practice, practice. Thank you for the advice. It means a lot. No problem. We all have fears to overcome. True. Is there anything else you fear now? Heights used to terrify me, but I went hiking. Wow. Facing fears head on is inspiring. It was scary, but the feeling of accomplishment is worth it. I'll remember that when facing my fears. Thank you. You're welcome. You can do it. I believe in you. I wore mismatched socks today. It was embarrassing. Oh no. That's a common fashion faux pas. Any suggestions to avoid this mishap? Try organizing your socks before wearing them. Good advice. I'll do that next time.
Do you need help with any other fashion dilemmas? Yes, I have a wedding to attend. What should I wear? A nice dress or a suit would be appropriate. What color should I choose? Pastel colors or neutral tones are safe choices. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Let me know if you have more questions. Will do. By the way, your outfit looks great today. Thank you. I always try to dress my best. Your style tips are so helpful. I love photography. It helps capture special moments. Me too. Do you have any tips for composition? Yes, try the rule of thirds. It adds balance to photos. That sounds interesting. I will give it a try. Lighting is crucial too. Natural light works best. I struggle with lighting sometimes. Any advice? Use golden hour, an hour before sunset or after sunrise. Ah, I'll keep that in mind. What about editing? Keep it natural. Enhance, but don't overdo it. I tend to over-edit. Thanks for the reminder. Also, crop or straighten if needed. It helps a lot. I forget about cropping. I'll start doing it more. Lastly, always carry your camera for unexpected shots. Good point. I'll make sure to bring it everywhere. Great. Enjoy capturing those meaningful moments. Thank you. Let's inspire each other with our photos. What do you think makes a healthy relationship? Trust and communication are important for a strong bond. I agree. Trust means relying on each other. Yes, without trust it's hard to feel secure. How about communication? What's your view? Good communication avoids misunderstandings. I think it's important to listen actively. Active listening shows respect and understanding. Have you ever had a relationship without trust? Yes, it was difficult and caused a lot of stress. I've experienced that too. It's really tough. Open and honest communication can solve issues. It's true. Talking things out can bring clarity. And it strengthens the relationship in the long run. I'm glad we agree on what makes a healthy relationship. I miss our trip to Paris. The Eiffel Tower was breathtaking. Yes, I loved exploring the Louvre Museum too. It was amazing. Do you remember that hilarious street performer we saw? Oh, yes. He made everyone laugh with his funny tricks. I want to travel more. Where do you want to go next? I've always dreamed of visiting Tokyo. The culture seems fascinating. Tokyo sounds great. I'd love to try authentic sushi there. Me too. And visiting a traditional tea house would be lovely. Let's plan it soon. What other trips are on your bucket list? I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights in Iceland. That sounds magical. We should go on an adventure there. Absolutely. The natural beauty there is simply breathtaking. I can't wait to make more travel memories with you. 
Hi, how do you help the environment? I recycle and use reusable bags. That's great. I turn off lights to save electricity. Nice. I also plant trees in my neighborhood. That's awesome. We should encourage others too. Absolutely. Small efforts can make a big difference. Have you tried composting food waste? Not yet, but I'm planning to start soon. It's a great way to reduce waste and fertilize plants. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the suggestion. No problem. We should spread awareness about it. I completely agree. Let's start a community campaign. That would be fantastic. We can make a real impact. Definitely. Together, we can create a greener future. What kind of hobby are you interested in starting? I want to try gardening. That's a great choice. Have you bought any plants yet? Not yet. I'm still researching which ones are easy to grow. You can start with herbs like basil or mint. They're low maintenance. That sounds perfect. Where can I buy the seeds? You can find them at a local garden center or order online. I'll check out the garden center this weekend. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Also, consider getting some gardening tools like a trowel. I'll make a list and buy all the necessary supplies. Once you start, remember to water your plants regularly. I will, and I'm excited to see them grow. Gardening is a fun and rewarding hobby. Enjoy it. I will. Thanks for encouraging me to try it out. I tried a new recipe yesterday. It was a disaster. Oh no. What happened? I added too much salt and it was too spicy. That happened to me once. How about adding some sugar to balance the flavors? That's a good idea. I'll try it next time. Did you follow the recipe correctly? I think I missed a step. I was in a hurry. It's important to read it thoroughly before starting. Yes, I learned my lesson now. How about you? Any cooking tips? Yes, always taste as you go to adjust the seasoning. That's a great tip, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Cooking is all about trial and error. Don't give up. You're right. I'll keep practicing. Where do you usually go for groceries? I like going to the local market near my house. Do they have good prices there? Yes, they have great deals on fruits and vegetables. That's good to know. What about other items? I go to a big supermarket for other household items. Are prices higher there? Yes, but they have a wider selection of products. I usually shop online for groceries. Is it cheaper that way? Not always, but it's convenient for me. Do you have any tips for finding good deals? I always check for discounts and compare prices. I should start doing that too. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome. Anything else you want to know? Where else can I find good deals on groceries? 
You could try joining a wholesale club for bulk items. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks for the advice. I need to organize my closet. Me too. It's always a mess. Let's start decluttering first. Good idea. We can donate old clothes. I'll buy storage bins for my shoes. That's smart. I'll get hangers for my dresses. Let's use the top shelf for seasonal items. Great. And shelves for folded clothes. We can hang bags on hooks behind the door. Brilliant. It'll save so much space. I'll label everything for easy finding. Good plan. It'll be organized and neat. It feels great to have a tidy closet. Definitely. Less stress, more efficiency. Now, let's tackle the kitchen next. Agreed. Let's start with the pantry. Do you have any upcoming family gatherings? Yes, we'll have one next week. That sounds exciting. What preparations do you need to make? I have to buy groceries and clean the house. What food are you planning to bring? I'll make a salad and bake a cake. That sounds delicious. Can I help you with anything? Thank you. You can bring some drinks if you'd like. Sounds good. I'll bring some soda and juice. Great. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. Me too. It's always nice to spend time with loved ones. Definitely. It's a special time for bonding and making memories. I agree. Family gatherings are the best. How do you like to decorate your living space? I prefer a cozy and minimalistic style. That sounds nice. Any budget-friendly DIY ideas? I like making my own wall art using old magazines. That's creative. Where do you shop for decor? I usually find great pieces at thrift stores. I've heard good things about those. Any other ideas? Adding plants can bring life to a space. I agree. They add a nice touch of nature. Plus, they are affordable and easy to care for. Do you have any favorite stores for plants? I often go to the local nursery for a variety. I'll check it out. Thanks for the recommendations. You're welcome. Enjoy decorating your space. I love baking bread from scratch. Do you bake too? Yes, it's so rewarding to make fresh bread at home. What's your favorite type of homemade bread? I really enjoy making a rustic sourdough loaf. That sounds delicious. Can you share your recipe? Sure. It's a simple recipe with flour, water, and salt. Do you use a bread machine or knead by hand? I prefer to knead the dough by hand. It's therapeutic. I agree. How long do you let the dough rise? I let it rise for about 6 to 8 hours, until it doubles in size. Do you bake it in a regular oven or use a Dutch oven? I bake it in a Dutch oven for a perfectly crusty loaf. That's a great tip. I'll try it next time.
It really makes a difference. Let me know how it turns out. Thanks, I'm excited to give it a try. Have you ever taken a yoga class? Yes, I have. It's so relaxing and helps with stress. That sounds amazing. What type of yoga did you do? I tried Hatha Yoga. It focuses on breathing and poses. Where did you find the yoga instructor? I found her at the community center. They have many classes. How often do you attend the yoga classes? I try to go twice a week. It keeps me balanced. Do you feel any physical benefits from practicing yoga? Definitely. My flexibility and strength have improved. I want to try it too. Do you recommend any other types of yoga? Vinyasa yoga is great for flowing movements and increased heart rate. Where can I learn more about different yoga types? You can research online or ask at local gyms and fitness centers. I'll definitely look into it. Thanks for sharing your experience. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Have you ever been to any local museums? Yes, I have. They have interesting exhibits. What kind of exhibits did you see? I saw art, history, and science exhibits. Do they offer any discounts for entry? Yes, some museums have discounted tickets for students. That's great. It makes it more affordable. Exactly, and it encourages learning for everyone. I agree. Museums are a great way to learn new things. They also have interactive displays which make it fun. Learning while having fun sounds like the perfect combination. It definitely is. Plus, you support local culture. I think I'll visit a local museum soon. That's a good idea. You won't regret it. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. Enjoy your visit. Packing can be stressful, but it's important to pack smartly. Yes, I always make a checklist to ensure I don't forget anything. That's a great idea. What are some essentials you always pack? Clothes, toiletries, and a first aid kit are must-haves for me. I always struggle with overpacking. Any tips for that? Roll your clothes instead of folding them to save space. Good tip. How about souvenirs? Do you buy a lot? I used to, but now I prefer to collect experiences instead. That's a nice way to look at it. Have you had any travel mishaps? Once, my luggage got lost, but luckily it was found the next day. That must have been stressful. I hope it never happens to me. Just remember to keep important items in your carry-on bag. I'll keep that in mind. Any other packing advice you have? Pack versatile items that can be mixed and matched easily. Thank you. I'll definitely use these tips for my next trip. You're welcome. Have a great vacation. Morning runs have so many benefits, don't you think? Definitely. They boost my energy for the whole day. I find it hard to stay motivated sometimes. 
Any tips? Plan your route beforehand and set realistic goals. That's a good idea. How do you choose your running route? I prefer scenic routes in parks or near the beach. I like running in the neighborhood. It feels familiar. That's great too. Consistency is key, no matter the route. How long do you usually run in the mornings? I aim for 30 minutes, but sometimes I do 45 minutes. I usually run for 20 minutes, but I want to increase it. Start small and gradually increase your time. You'll get there. I hope so. Do you have any other tips for morning runs? Make sure to warm up, wear proper shoes, and hydrate. Thanks for the advice. I'll give it a try tomorrow morning. That's great. Let's both make morning runs a regular thing. Street food is amazing, don't you agree? Absolutely. I love trying new dishes. Which vendor is your favorite? The one near the park. Their tacos are delicious. I've never tried their tacos. I'll give them a try. You should. They're so flavorful and affordable. Are there any must-try dishes at that vendor? Their beef and cheese quesadilla is a must-have. Sounds mouth-watering. I can't wait to try it. Just make sure to check the cleanliness of the stall. That's a good point. We should prioritize food safety. Always trust your instincts when choosing a vendor. Will do. I'll keep that in mind when exploring street food. Do you have any indoor plants at home? Yes, I have a few. They bring life to my place. Which ones do you recommend for beginners? Spider plants and pothos are easy to care for. How often should I water them? Water them once a week, or when the soil is dry. Any tips on providing enough sunlight? Place them near a window for indirect sunlight. Are there any benefits to having indoor plants? They purify the air and reduce stress levels. That sounds great. I will get some plants soon. I'm sure you'll enjoy the greenery at your home. Thank you for the advice. I'm excited to start. You're welcome. Happy gardening. Setting fitness goals is important, don't you think? Absolutely. It keeps us motivated and focused. What kind of goals do you usually set for yourself? I aim to exercise three times a week for 30 minutes. That sounds achievable. Do you track your progress? Yes. I use an app to monitor my workouts and steps. That's a great idea. How do you celebrate milestones? I treat myself to a healthy reward like a new workout outfit. Nice. I find it helpful to have a workout buddy too. Agree. It keeps me accountable and makes exercise fun. Do you ever adjust your goals if needed? Yes, I modify them when necessary to keep challenging myself. It's important to listen to our bodies, right? Absolutely, we should always prioritize safety and health. I'm excited to start setting my own fitness goals now.
That's great. I'm here to support you along your journey. I love coffee. Do you like it too? Yes, it's one of my favorite drinks. Have you heard about the new coffee shop in town? No, I haven't. What's special about it? They have a variety of coffee beans and different brewing methods. That sounds interesting. Let's check it out. Definitely. I can't wait to try their different flavors. Me too. I've heard they have great cappuccinos. I prefer lattes. What's your favorite coffee? I enjoy black coffee with no milk or sugar. Oh, I see. We have different taste preferences. That's what makes coffee so diverse and fascinating. I completely agree. Let's go explore new flavors. Yes, I'm excited to discover our new favorite coffee. Weekend markets are so charming, aren't they? Yes, I love exploring them. So many unique products. Exactly. I always find interesting homemade crafts there. It's great to support local vendors, too. I agree. It feels good to help small businesses. And the atmosphere is always lively and friendly. That's true. Plus, the prices are usually reasonable. Yes, you can find good bargains at weekend markets. It's like a treasure hunt, finding hidden gems. I always come home with something special. Me too. It's a fun way to spend the weekend. We should plan a trip to a new market soon. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Journaling is a great way to express thoughts and emotions. I agree. It helps me organize my thoughts and relieve stress. What journaling style do you prefer? I like bullet journaling. It helps me stay organized. That sounds interesting. What do you usually write in your journal? I write about my goals, daily tasks, and accomplishments. Do you use any writing prompts? Sometimes, it helps when I feel stuck or lack inspiration. I've heard that reflective writing is beneficial too. It is. It allows me to analyze my thoughts and learn from them. Have you ever gone back and reread your old journal entries? Yes, it's interesting to see how much I've grown and changed. Do you have any tips for someone starting a journal? Start small and be consistent. Write for a few minutes every day. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Happy journaling. Hosting a potluck party is a great way to share the cooking responsibilities. I agree. It's also nice to try different dishes prepared by everyone. We should make a list of food categories to assign to our guests. That's a good idea. We can have appetizers, main dishes, and desserts. And we can ask our friends to bring a specific dish from each category. Yes, it will ensure a good variety of food for everyone to enjoy. We should also mention any food allergies or dietary restrictions. Absolutely. It's important to accommodate everyone's needs. Should we provide some beverages or ask our friends to bring them too? 
It would be helpful if everyone brings their own drinks. Let's also remind them to bring serving utensils for their dishes. Good point. We don't want to run out of utensils. Lastly, we should establish a time and place for the potluck. How about hosting it at our place next Saturday evening? Sounds perfect. Let's invite everyone and prepare for a delicious potluck. I love exploring beaches and waterfalls. They're so beautiful. Me too. It's peaceful and refreshing. Do you have a favorite beach? I enjoy the sandy beaches with clear blue water. What about you? I prefer rocky beaches with big waves. They're more dramatic. That sounds exciting. But aren't big waves dangerous? Yes, they can be. It's important to swim where it's safe and follow signs. Right, safety first. Have you ever visited a waterfall? Yes, I have. They're breathtaking. Have you seen one before? No, but I'd love to. Any recommendations? I recommend visiting the waterfall in the nearby national park. Sounds amazing. What activities do you enjoy at the beach? I like swimming, sunbathing, and building sandcastles. How about you? I enjoy snorkeling, collecting seashells, and taking long walks. Those are fantastic beach activities. Let's plan a trip soon. Definitely. I can't wait to explore more natural water spots. I'm so excited for the game tonight. Me too. What's your favorite team? I root for the local team. How about you? I support the team from my hometown. That's great. The stadium atmosphere is amazing, right? Absolutely. The cheers and energy are unforgettable. Do you have any game day rituals? I always wear my team's jersey and bring a banner. I like to buy a hot dog and a soda before the match. Same. The food at the stadium is delicious. I can't wait to see our team win tonight. Me neither. Let's enjoy the game together. Definitely. It's always more fun with friends. Agreed. Let's share this unforgettable experience. What do you think about art? I love it. Different genres make me feel emotions. Do you have a favorite genre? Abstract art catches my attention the most. Interesting. I prefer landscapes and portraits. Have you visited any art galleries recently? Yes, there's one near my house. It has amazing exhibitions. I would love to go there. Are they expensive? No, they have free admission. It's a great place to visit. I'm excited to see the artworks and feel inspired. Art has a unique way of evoking emotions, doesn't it? Absolutely, it can touch your soul in a profound way. Have you ever tried creating your own artwork? Yes, I enjoy painting as a hobby. It's therapeutic. That's wonderful. Art is a beautiful form of self-expression. Indeed, it allows us to express our thoughts and emotions. Taking a bath is so relaxing, don't you think? Absolutely. 
It's a great way to unwind. I love using essential oils in my bath. Me too. Lavender oil is my favorite. It helps me sleep better at night. Yes, lavender has calming properties. Have you tried bath salts? Yes, they make the water feel luxurious. I also have scented candles for ambiance. That's a nice touch. It creates a peaceful atmosphere. I always feel refreshed after a bath. Same here. It's a rejuvenating experience. We should have a bath day together. That sounds wonderful. Let's plan it soon. Great. It will be a relaxing and fun time. Do you want to learn how to ride a bike? Yes, I do. It seems like a fun activity. I can teach you. Start with balancing. How can I balance without falling? Try using training wheels at first. Great idea. Where is a good place to practice? An empty parking lot would be perfect. Should I wear a helmet for safety? Absolutely. Safety should always come first. How long does it take to learn? It depends, but practice regularly for faster progress. I can't wait to feel the thrill of cycling. It's amazing. You'll love the freedom it brings. Thanks for offering to teach me how to ride. I want to try a new art medium. Any suggestions? How about watercolors? They're vibrant and easy to use. Great idea. Where can I find watercolor supplies? You can check an art supply store or order online. What techniques should I learn for watercolor painting? Start with basic techniques like washes and wet on wet. Any tips for embracing creativity in art? Experiment. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and have fun. I'm excited to try new things. What medium do you like? I enjoy working with acrylic paints. They dry quickly. Can I use acrylics on any surface? Yes, you can use them on canvas, wood, or even paper. How long did it take you to get comfortable with art? It took time, practice, and exploring different mediums. I'm glad you're encouraging me to try new things. Art is all about self-expression and enjoying the process. Thanks for the advice. I will start my art journey soon. I'm excited for you. Remember, have fun and be creative. I will. Thank you for being so supportive. You're welcome. Enjoy your artistic exploration. Have you visited any historical landmarks lately? Yes, I went to a castle last week. That sounds interesting. What's the history behind it? It was built in the 12th century for a royal family. Wow, that's really old. What can you see there? There are beautiful gardens and medieval artifacts. Did you learn anything fascinating about the castle? Yes, there was a secret tunnel used by the king. That's so cool. I want to visit a castle too. You should. It's like traveling back in time. 
Are there any other historical landmarks nearby? Yes, there's a cathedral known for its stunning architecture. I love admiring beautiful buildings. How old is it? It was built in the 14th century, truly a masterpiece. I can't wait to explore these historical landmarks. They're truly fascinating. You'll have a great time. Street festivals are so lively. Yes, I love the vibrant atmosphere. The cultural celebrations are fascinating. Absolutely, they showcase diversity. And the street performers are amazing. They add excitement to the festival. Don't forget the mouthwatering food stalls. I always eat so much delicious food. It's a great way to try new cuisines. Definitely, I love exploring different flavors. Street festivals bring people together. Yes, they create a sense of community. I can't wait for the next festival. Me neither, let's have fun together. Are you interested in joining a community club? Yes, I want to meet new people and make friends. Great. What kind of club are you thinking of joining? Maybe a book club or a cooking club. Those sound fun. You can learn new recipes or discuss interesting books. Plus, it's a good opportunity to socialize and improve my English. Absolutely. You can practice speaking with other club members. It's also a chance for personal growth and self-expression. Definitely. You can share your ideas and learn from others too. Let's find a club that matches our interests and join together. That's a great idea. We can support each other along the way. I'm excited to start this new adventure and make lasting connections. Me too. It'll be a wonderful experience for both of us. Let's research different clubs in our community and choose one. Agreed. I can't wait to see what options are available to us. Let's take this opportunity to step out of our comfort zones. Absolutely. Let's embrace new experiences and enjoy the journey. I love being outdoors and trying new things. Do you? Yes, I enjoy exploring nature too. What activities do you suggest? How about hiking? You get exercise and see beautiful views. That sounds great. Is it difficult for beginners like us? Not at all. Just start with easy trails and increase difficulty over time. Okay, let's also try kayaking. It seems exciting on the water. Definitely. We can rent kayaks and paddle at our own pace. What about rock climbing? It looks challenging and thrilling. Good idea, but let's take a beginner class before attempting it. Agreed. Safety first. Which sport do you want to try first? Let's start with hiking. We can plan a trail for this weekend. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited to explore nature with you. Me too. Outdoor sports bring us closer to the beauty of the world. Farmers' markets are great for getting fresh fruits and veggies. I agree. It's nice to support local farmers, too. Plus, 
The produce tastes so much better than in supermarkets. Definitely. And it's healthier since it's pesticide free. I also like how they use eco friendly practices. Yes, it's good for the environment and sustainability. And the prices are often cheaper than in regular stores. That's true, and it helps to save money in the long run. I always feel good about shopping there. It's a win win situation for everyone involved. Absolutely. Supporting local businesses is important. I couldn't agree more. Let's go this weekend. I'm excited. Let's buy some fresh, organic produce. Sounds like a plan. Can't wait for our farmer's market trip. I'm so excited about going on a road trip. Me too. Where would you like to go? Maybe we can visit the beach and enjoy the ocean. That sounds great. Any other destinations in mind? I'd love to see the mountains and go hiking. Excellent. We can explore nature on our trip. Do you have any tips for planning the journey? Pack essentials, plan stops, and enjoy the ride. Good advice. I can't wait to feel the freedom on the open road. Road trips give us the chance to relax and unwind. Plus, we can stop whenever we want to explore. Exactly. Spontaneity is what makes it so exciting. Let's plan everything out and hit the road soon. Agreed. It's going to be an unforgettable adventure. I love singing so much. Me too. Have you thought about joining a local choir? That's a great idea. I've always wanted to sing with others. It's a wonderful experience. We can learn new songs and meet new people. How do we join? Is there an audition? No audition, just enthusiasm for singing. Let's find a choir nearby. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to sing in harmony with others. We can also do vocal warm up exercises before rehearsals. That's a good idea. It helps improve our singing technique. Plus, singing in a group brings so much joy and unity. I agree. It's incredible how voices can come together as one. Let's do it. We can have fun while pursuing our passion. Absolutely. Singing in a choir will be an amazing experience. I tried a new cuisine yesterday. It was so delicious. Oh, really? What kind of cuisine did you try? I tried Indian food for the first time. How was it? What did you have? It was amazing. I had chicken tikka masala and naan bread. That sounds yummy. Where did you go to try it? I went to a local Indian restaurant near my house. I should try it too. I've never had Indian food before. You definitely should. It's such a unique experience. Do they have vegetarian options as well? Yes, they do. They have a variety of vegetarian dishes. That's great. I have a friend who is a vegetarian. I'm sure they will find something delicious there. I'm excited to try it now. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. Let's plan a dinner there sometime. 
I love walking. It's so relaxing and good for your health. Me too. Let's find new walking routes to explore. How about trying some scenic trails in the countryside? Good idea. We can enjoy nature while staying active. Also, there are well-equipped parks with walking paths. Those are great for a leisurely stroll or jogging. Walking helps us stay fit and reduces stress levels. I agree. It's a simple and effective exercise. Plus, we can discover new places and enjoy fresh air. Absolutely. Let's make walking a regular activity. We can also invite more friends to join us sometime. That's a fantastic idea. Walking together is more fun. We should start planning our next walking adventure. Definitely. I can't wait to explore new routes with you. I want to try art classes. Have you ever taken one? Yes, I have. It's a great way to express yourself. What types of art can you learn in these classes? You can learn drawing, painting, and even sculpture. Where can I find art studios that offer these classes? Check local community centers or search online. Will I need to buy art supplies for the classes? Yes, usually you'll need pencils, paints, and brushes. Are the classes expensive? I'm on a tight budget. It depends, but you can also find affordable options. I'm excited to unleash my creativity through art. Art classes will definitely help you with that. I hope I can improve my artistic skills too. Absolutely. Practice makes perfect. Have fun trying. Road trips are so much fun, don't you think? Absolutely. I love exploring new places. It's great to see different landscapes and try new food. And being with friends makes it even better. I agree. We always have the best laughs on these trips. Remember when we got lost and had to ask for directions? Oh yes, that was quite an adventure. And the breathtaking views we saw on the way. I still can't forget that sunset at the beach. It was so beautiful, like a painting. Road trips really create unforgettable memories. They definitely do. I can't wait for the next one. Me neither. Let's plan another trip soon. Yes, I'm already excited thinking about it. Cooking dinner tonight. Any suggestions for a new recipe? How about trying a homemade lasagna? I have a simple recipe. That sounds great. What ingredients do we need? We'll need lasagna noodles, ground beef, marinara sauce, and cheese. I'll add those to the grocery list. What's the next step? First, cook the ground beef and mix it with the marinara sauce. Got it. And what about the lasagna noodles? Boil them until they're al dente. Layer them with the beef mixture and cheese. Sounds easy enough. How long do we bake it? Bake it for around 30 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. Can't wait to taste it. Anything else? 
Let it cool for a few minutes before serving. Enjoy. Thank you for the recipe. I'm excited to try it tonight. You're welcome. Let me know how it turns out. Have fun cooking. It's a beautiful day to head to the beach, don't you think? Absolutely. I love relaxing under the sun and feeling the warm sand. Me too. And the sound of crashing waves is so soothing. Definitely. I also enjoy swimming in the refreshing water. Do you have a favorite beach activity? Building sandcastles. It's so much fun to be creative with sand. That sounds like a great idea. I might give it a try today. You should. It's a great way to spend your time at the beach. Any tips on building a sturdy sandcastle? Start with wet sand and build a solid base. It helps keep it stable. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. You're welcome. Enjoy your day at the beach. Thanks, you too. Let's meet up later and share our sandcastles. Sounds like a plan. See you later at the beach. Have you ever tried planting a garden? No, I haven't, but I'd love to give it a try. It's a great way to relax and connect with nature. That sounds wonderful. Where should I begin? First, choose a sunny spot in your yard. How big should the garden be? Start small. Maybe just a few plants to begin with. What kind of plants are easy for beginners? Tomatoes, herbs, and lettuce are good options. Do I need any special tools? Basic tools like a shovel, rake, and watering can will do. How often should I water the plants? Depending on the weather, usually every two or three days. Should I use any fertilizer or pesticides? For beginners, organic fertilizers and natural pest control are recommended. I'm excited to get started. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy planting your garden. Hi, have you gone bargain shopping recently? Yes, I love finding good deals. Me too. Where do you usually go? I usually check out thrift stores and online sales. Oh, I like going to flea markets and clearance sales. It's fun hunting for hidden gems, right? Definitely. I enjoy comparing prices before buying. That's smart. I always look for quality items at affordable prices. Same here. It feels satisfying to find a great deal. I agree. It's like a treasure hunt every time. Do you have any tips for finding the best bargains? Patience is key and never hesitate to negotiate the price. Good advice. I'll remember that. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy bargain shopping. Are you moving soon? Yes, I'm moving to a new place next weekend. Do you need help with packing? That would be great. I have so much stuff to pack. I can come on Saturday to assist you. Thank you. I have some heavy furniture too. Don't worry, I can help you move them. I appreciate it. 
Moving can be so stressful. No problem. We'll make it smoother for you. You're a lifesaver. I couldn't do it alone. That's what friends are for, right? Absolutely. I'm lucky to have you as a friend. It's my pleasure to help you out, always. Thank you again. I really appreciate your help. Anytime. Just let me know how I can assist you. Do you set goals for yourself? Yes, I like having something to work towards. How do you determine what you want to accomplish? I think about what makes me happy and fulfilled. That's a good approach. How about making a plan? I write down my goals and break them into smaller tasks. How do you stay motivated along the way? I remind myself of the progress I've made so far. That's a great way to keep going. Do you celebrate your small victories? Yes, it's important to acknowledge my achievements. Any tips for achieving goals? Stay focused, be consistent, and don't give up easily. Thank you for sharing your insights. You're welcome. Good luck with your goals, too. Do you like going to farmers markets? Yes, I find them interesting and love the fresh food. Me too. I enjoy supporting local farmers and artisans. It's nice to know where the food comes from, right? Absolutely. Plus, the produce always tastes better. Have you tried any unique items at a farmer's market? Once, I tried a purple cauliflower. It was delicious. That sounds intriguing. I should try new things too. Yes, it's a great chance to discover different flavors. And it's a fun way to spend a day outdoors, too. Definitely. I enjoy strolling around and browsing. Do you usually buy a lot at the farmer's market? I try not to go overboard, but I usually end up buying more than I planned. I can relate. The variety makes it hard to resist buying more. True. Everything always looks so fresh and tempting. Let's plan our next trip to the farmer's market together. That sounds like a fantastic idea. I'm in. Have you ever organized a surprise party? No, I haven't. It sounds exciting though. It is. Planning everything without them knowing is fun. What kind of cake do you recommend? Chocolate cake is always a crowd pleaser. That sounds delicious. What about decorations? Balloons, streamers, and a happy birthday banner. Great ideas. How can we keep it a secret? We can ask their friends to help keep the secret. That's a good plan. When should we do it? Let's surprise them on their actual birthday. I'm sure they'll be thrilled. What else can we do? We can write heartfelt birthday messages for them. That's a beautiful idea. They'll cherish it. It's important to show them how much they mean to us. Absolutely. Birthdays are special moments to celebrate. Have you ever been hiking before? Yes, I have. I love being in nature. 
Me too. It's so refreshing and peaceful. I agree. The fresh air is invigorating. Do you have any favorite hiking trails? There's a beautiful trail near my house. That sounds amazing. What kind of views can you see? You can see mountains and a serene lake. Wow, that must be breathtaking. It really is. It's like being in a painting. I can't wait to go hiking and reconnect with nature. It's definitely a great way to unwind and relax. How long does it usually take to hike the trail? It's a moderate hike, so about two hours. That's perfect for a day trip. Let's plan it soon. Absolutely. I'm excited to go hiking with you. I've been thinking about starting a new hobby. That sounds great. What are you interested in trying? I've always wanted to learn how to cook. That's a great choice. Cooking can be so much fun. I'm a bit nervous though. I'm not very good at it. Don't worry, nobody starts as an expert. Just start small. What should I start with? Any recommendations? How about trying some simple recipes from a cookbook? That sounds like a good idea. Where can I find one? You can borrow from the library or buy one online or in a store. I'll check the library first. Thank you for the suggestion. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm excited to start cooking. Wow, the sunset is amazing today. Yes, it's breathtaking. Look at the vibrant colors. I love how the sky changes from blue to orange. It's like a painting in the sky, so beautiful. Nature's beauty always leaves me in awe. I feel the same way. It's truly mesmerizing. I wish we could capture this moment forever. We can take pictures to remember it later. That's a great idea. Let me grab my phone. Take your time. We don't want to miss this view. Okay. Ready? Clicks a picture. Great shot. Now we'll always remember this sunset. Yes, it's a memory I'll cherish forever. Nature has a way of creating such magical moments. Have you ever been to a cultural festival? No, I haven't. What's it like? It's amazing. You can experience different traditions and taste diverse foods. That sounds interesting. Where are these festivals usually held? They are held in various locations, like parks or city centers. Do you have any recommendations? The Spring Festival in my town is great. It has performances and local food. I'd love to go. Is there an entrance fee? No, it's free. You just need to bring some money for food and souvenirs. That's convenient. What should I wear to the festival? Casual clothes are fine, but some people wear traditional outfits too. I'll keep that in mind. How long do the festivals usually last? They typically last a few days, so you can enjoy everything. I can't wait to go and immerse myself in different cultures.
It'll be a wonderful experience. Let's go together next time. I faced my fear of spiders today. That's great. How did you do it? I read about them and learned they aren't harmful. Knowledge is power. What happened next? I touched a plastic spider to ease my fear. That's a brave step. It must have been challenging. It was, but I felt more confident afterwards. Facing fears head-on can be empowering. Absolutely. What fear have you conquered? I overcame my fear of heights by bungee jumping. Wow, that sounds exciting and scary. It was, but I felt such a sense of accomplishment. That's inspiring. I'm proud of both of us. We should always challenge ourselves. I love making homemade pizza. It's so fun. Me too. I enjoy kneading the dough. It's therapeutic, isn't it? Yes, it's satisfying to see the dough rise. After that, the topping selection is crucial. I always go for pepperoni and cheese. I like to add mushrooms and bell peppers. That sounds delicious. I'll try that next time. Don't forget the sauce and extra cheese. Of course. Can't have too much cheese. Then we bake it until it's golden and bubbly. I can already taste the crispy crust. It's the best part, in my opinion. I couldn't agree more. Let's make pizza soon. I love receiving handwritten letters. Do you ever write them? Yes, I do. It feels more personal than sending an email. I agree. It's a beautiful way to express emotions and show someone you care. Definitely. Plus, it's exciting to receive mail that isn't bills or junk. Absolutely. Handwritten letters bring joy and brighten up the day. It's like receiving a little piece of someone's heart in the mail. I enjoy taking the time to choose special stationery and pens for each letter. It shows how much effort and thought you put into it. Exactly. It's a nice break from typing on a computer all day. Writing a letter also gives you time to reflect and appreciate the receiver. That's so true. I often write letters to friends who live far away. It's a wonderful way to stay connected and keep friendships alive. I completely agree. It's a beautiful tradition worth preserving. I couldn't agree more. Let's keep the art of letter writing alive. I need help organizing my closet. It's a mess. Let's start by sorting through your clothes. Okay, should we keep what we wear often? Yes, and donate or sell what we don't. How about seasonal items? We can store them in boxes on a high shelf. Good idea. What about shoes and accessories? Separate them into categories for easy access. Should I get some storage bins for smaller items? Yes, that will help keep everything tidy. I'll also label things for better organization. Perfect, it will make finding items easier. Thank you for your help. 
My closet looks great. You're welcome. Glad I could assist you. Have you ever tried playing a new sport? Yes, I recently started learning tennis. That's great. How did you get started? I joined a beginner's class at the local sports center. How do you find it so far? It's challenging but exciting to learn something new. Are there any difficulties you're facing? It's hard to get the ball in the right direction sometimes. Practice makes perfect. Any other challenges? Yes, I struggle with serving the ball correctly. Don't worry, with time you'll improve. Any enjoyable moments? Hitting a powerful shot gives a sense of accomplishment. That sounds amazing. Are you participating in any matches? I'm still practicing, but I hope to join a friendly match soon. Good luck. I'm thinking of trying a new sport too. Go for it. It's a great way to stay active and have fun. I'm excited to explore something different. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Enjoy your new sport adventure. Shall we go camping this weekend? That sounds great. Where should we go? How about the national park nearby? Perfect. We can pitch our tent and enjoy nature. Don't forget the camping supplies like the tent and sleeping bags. Of course, we'll also bring cooking utensils and food. We can gather around the campfire and tell stories. That's my favorite part. I'll bring marshmallows for s'mores. We should also bring insect repellent and sunscreen. Good idea. We don't want to get sunburned or bitten. Let's remember to leave no trace and clean up after ourselves. Absolutely. It's important to preserve the beauty of nature. I can't wait for a fun weekend in the great outdoors. Me too. It'll be a memorable time connecting with nature. Family reunions are so much fun, don't you think? Yes, I love catching up with relatives and hearing their stories. It's amazing how we can reconnect after such a long time. Definitely, it helps us strengthen our family bonds too. Do you have any favorite memories from past reunions? I remember playing games and laughing with my cousins. That sounds like a lot of fun. I enjoy sharing meals together. Me too. It's a great time to try different dishes and recipes. Have you ever organized a family reunion yourself? Not yet, but I hope to plan one in the future. That would be wonderful. I'm sure everyone would appreciate it. Thank you. It's important to bring the family together. I agree. Family is a special bond that should always be celebrated. I need some new clothes. Let's go shopping this weekend. That sounds fun. What kind of clothes are you looking for? I want to buy some trendy tops and jeans. Great. We can start at the mall and check out the latest fashion. Perfect. I also need new shoes. Maybe some sneakers? Sure. Let's go to the shoe store after we're done with clothes. I'm excited. I've been saving up for this shopping spree. 
It's always nice to treat yourself once in a while. Absolutely. And maybe we can grab lunch at the food court too. That's a good idea. We can rest and refuel for more shopping. I hope we find some good deals and discounts. Yes, I'll keep an eye out for any sales or promotions. Thank you. I appreciate your help and company. No problem at all. Shopping is more fun with friends. I can't wait for our shopping spree. It's going to be fantastic. I agree. Let's make it a memorable day. Baking bread is such a rewarding activity, don't you think? Yes, I love the smell of fresh bread filling up the house. Me too. Do you have a favorite bread recipe? I like making simple white bread with flour, yeast, and water. That sounds easy enough. How long does it take to make? It usually takes about three hours, including rising and baking. What's the first step in making the dough? First, you have to mix the flour, yeast, and water together. How do you know when the dough is ready to be kneaded? The dough should feel elastic and not stick to your hands. After kneading, what's the next step? Let the dough rise in a warm place until it doubles in size. How long does the dough need to rise? It usually takes about an hour or so, depending on the temperature. Once it's risen, what's the final step? Punch down the dough and shape it into a loaf before baking. Sounds simple enough. I can't wait to bake some bread. It's a great way to enjoy homemade goodness. Have fun. Hi, I'm planning a potluck dinner at my place. Would you like to come? That sounds great. What should I bring for the potluck? You can bring any homemade dish you like. It's all about sharing. I can make a salad and bring some dessert too. Perfect. We'll have a variety of flavors with everyone's contributions. How many people are coming to the potluck? Around 10 friends and family members have confirmed so far. That's a nice gathering. What time should I be there? Let's start at 6 p.m., so arrive a bit early if you can. Sure. I'll be there around 5.30 p.m. with the dishes. Thank you for helping out. It's going to be a fun evening. I'm excited to try everyone's homemade dishes. And it will be a chance to foster a sense of community and sharing. I completely agree. Potlucks are such a wonderful tradition. See you on the day of the potluck then. Looking forward to it. See you soon. Can't wait for the potluck dinner. Have you visited a museum recently? Yes, I went to an art museum yesterday. What kind of art did they have? They had paintings, sculptures, and pottery. That sounds interesting. Did you like it? Yes, I enjoyed seeing the different art styles. Did you learn anything new? Yes, I learned about famous artists and their techniques. That's great. I should visit a museum too. It's a good way to appreciate art and learn new things. Which museum would you recommend? 
The Science Museum has interactive exhibits, it's fun. I'll definitely check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your visit. Have you ever tried a new workout routine? Yes, I recently started doing kickboxing classes. That sounds intense. How do you like it? It's challenging, but also fun and great for stress relief. I've been thinking of trying yoga. Is it difficult? Not at all. It's perfect for flexibility and relaxation. That sounds appealing. Where do you take classes? There's a local gym that offers a variety of classes. I'm worried about feeling self-conscious. Do you ever feel that way? At first, but everyone is focused on themselves, so it's okay. That's reassuring. How often do you go to classes? I try to go three times a week for consistent progress. I should give it a try. Any tips for beginners? Start slow, listen to your body, and don't compare yourself to others. Thanks for the advice. I'll sign up for a class today. You're welcome. Enjoy your new workout routine. Hey, do you like going to the beach? Yes, I love spending time near the ocean. Have you ever built a sandcastle? Oh yes, it's so much fun to create something from sand. How do you make the sandcastle stay together? You need to add water to make the sand stick. What tools do you use to shape the sand? I usually use buckets and spades for shaping. Do you have any special tips for making a good sandcastle? Yes, packing the sand tightly helps it stay sturdy. What's your favorite part about building a sandcastle? I love when it starts to take shape and look like a castle. How do you feel when you finish building it? It's such a satisfying feeling to see the final creation. Have you ever entered a sandcastle competition? No, but that sounds like a fun challenge to try someday. Building sandcastles is a great way to let our creativity soar. Absolutely, it's a wonderful way to express ourselves. Hi, do you like taking photos? Yes, I love it. It's a great way to capture memories. Me too. Have you been on any photography adventures? Not yet. I want to explore my city first. That's a good idea. There's beauty everywhere. Where do you usually take your photos? I like taking pictures in parks and by the waterfront. I should try that. What camera do you use? I use a DSLR. It takes high-quality photos. I have a point-and-shoot camera. It's easier to carry. That's convenient. Do you edit your photos? Yes, I use editing software to enhance the colors. I do too. It makes a big difference. I'm excited to go on my first photography adventure. I'm sure you'll capture some amazing shots. Thank you. I can't wait to explore and photograph. Have you ever been to a local art gallery? No, I haven't. What's it like there? 
It's really interesting. You can see different types of art. What kind of art do they have? They have paintings, sculptures, and even photography. That sounds amazing. I'd love to see some paintings. You'll be amazed by the vibrant colors and unique styles. Are there any local artists showcased? Yes, they support local talent and exhibit their artwork. That's great. It's important to support local artists. Absolutely. It's inspiring to see their creativity on display. I'm excited to visit the gallery and appreciate their art. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful experience. Enjoy. Thank you. I can't wait to explore the art gallery. Do you ever donate clothes to charity? Yes, I donate clothes often. How about you? I haven't done it before. Can you give me some tips? Sure. Firstly, sort your clothes by category. Should I wash them before donating? Absolutely. Clean clothes are preferred. Where can I find donation centers? Check online or ask local community centers. What types of clothes do they accept? They usually accept gently used clothes. Is there anything they don't accept? They usually don't accept torn or stained clothes. Do I need to pack them in a bag? Yes, putting them in bags makes it easier. Can I donate other things besides clothes? Some centers also accept shoes and accessories. That's great. I'll start clearing my wardrobe. It's a meaningful way to give back. Do you like exploring new cities? Yes, I love discovering hidden gems. Which city have you explored recently? I visited a city famous for its cultural heritage. That sounds interesting. What did you explore? I walked around the old town and visited historic sites. Did you try any local cuisine there? Yes, I had their traditional dish, it was delicious. Did you find any unique souvenirs to bring back? Yes, I bought some local handmade crafts as souvenirs. That's nice. Did you meet any friendly locals? Yes, everyone was very welcoming and helpful. Did you face any language barriers while exploring? Yes, sometimes it was challenging, but I managed. What mode of transportation did you use? I mostly walked, but also used public buses. How was the atmosphere of the city? It was vibrant, with bustling streets and lively markets. Is there anything else you would recommend? Definitely visit the local museums, they are worth it. Do you like riding bikes? Yes, I love the feeling of freedom when cycling. Have you ever gone on a long bike ride? Yes, I once cycled for 50 kilometers in one day. That's impressive. How did you feel afterwards? I was tired but also proud of myself. Do you have any tips for a beginner like me? Start with short distances and gradually increase. What about safety precautions while cycling? 
Always wear a helmet and follow traffic rules. Any recommendations for scenic bike routes? There's a beautiful trail by the river. You'll love it. Is it important to warm up before cycling? Yes. Stretching helps prevent muscle injuries. Is biking a good exercise for losing weight? Definitely, it burns calories and tones your muscles. I'm excited to go on my first bike ride now. That's great. Enjoy the ride and have fun. Do you keep a journal? Yes, I started one recently. What made you decide to start journaling? I wanted to reflect on my thoughts and experiences. That's a great idea. How has it been so far? It's been helpful to express myself through writing. I can imagine. Is it hard to find time for it? Not really. I make it a priority before bed. That's a good routine. Have you noticed any personal growth? Definitely. It's interesting to see how I've changed. It must be nice to have a record of your journey. Yes, it's like a personal treasure. I might start journaling too. Thanks for the inspiration. You're welcome. It's a rewarding experience. I'm excited to give it a try. Have you ever been to a national park? Yes, I have. It was a great experience. Did you see any wildlife there? Yes, I saw many different animals. That must have been exciting. What did you see? I saw deer, birds, and even a bear. Wow, you're lucky. Did you take any pictures? Yes, I took lots of pictures of the animals. Did you learn anything about conservation? Yes, they taught us about protecting nature. That's important. Did they mention any efforts? They talked about preserving habitats. It's good that people are working on that. Yes, it's important to protect wildlife. I agree. Nature is so beautiful and fragile. We should do our best to take care of it. Absolutely. Let's appreciate the wonders of nature. I need a change. Thinking about trying a new hairstyle? Sure, why not? A new look can boost your confidence. What do you suggest? Something trendy, maybe? How about adding some layers? It'll give your hair more texture. That sounds interesting. Will it suit my face shape? Layers work well with most face shapes, so it should look great. Should I cut it short or keep it long? If you want a fresh start, a short cut could be fun and stylish. That's true. Short hair is easier to manage too. Exactly. It's all about finding a style that suits your lifestyle. I think I'm ready for a new, do now. Let's do it. Great. I'm excited to see your refreshed look. Enjoy. Thanks for the advice. I'll let you know how it turns out. You're welcome. Have fun experimenting with your new hairstyle. Have you ever been on a scenic drive before? Yes, I love the beautiful landscapes on those drives. 
What's your favorite part about it? I enjoy the feeling of serenity and freedom on the open road. Do you have any recommendations for scenic routes? Highway 1 along the coast is stunning, especially during sunset. That sounds amazing. How long does the drive take? It usually takes around 5 hours, but it's worth it. Is there anything else to see along the way? Yes, there are charming coastal towns and great seafood restaurants. That's a great bonus. Do you need any special preparations? Just make sure your car is in good condition and bring some snacks. Good to know. I'll definitely plan a scenic drive soon. You won't be disappointed. It's such a relaxing experience. I can't wait to enjoy the beauty of the open road. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a great time on your scenic drive. Hi, are you learning a new language? Yes, English. It's challenging but exciting. That's great. How do you practice speaking? I join language exchange groups and chat online. How often do you have language lessons? Twice a week. It helps me improve my grammar. Do you use any language learning apps? Yes. I use one to practice vocabulary and listening. Have you noticed any progress so far? Definitely. I can understand more and speak better now. That's amazing. Any tips for beginners like me? Practice every day, listen to native speakers, and be patient. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. You're welcome. Good luck with your language learning journey. Thanks. I appreciate your encouragement. Have you ever participated in a charity run? Yes, I joined one last year. It was amazing. What was the best part of the experience? running alongside others who were also passionate about the cause. Did you raise a lot of funds for the charity? Not a lot, but every small contribution counts, right? Absolutely. It's about making a difference, no matter how small. Exactly. And it felt fulfilling to help others in need. I'm thinking of joining one next month. Any tips? Pace yourself, stay hydrated, and enjoy the experience. Will do. I'm excited to be part of something meaningful. You'll love it. Helping others and running is a great combination. I can't wait to feel that sense of fulfillment you mentioned. It's truly unforgettable. Enjoy every step of your charity run. Thanks for the advice and encouragement. Wish me luck. Good luck. Have a great time and make a positive impact. Have you ever tried mindfulness meditation? Yes, I have. It helps me feel calm and focused. That's great. How do you practice it? I sit in a quiet place, close my eyes, and focus on my breath. How long do you meditate for? I usually aim for 10 to 15 minutes a day. Do you find it difficult to stay focused? At first, it was challenging, but with practice, it gets easier. What benefits have you noticed? 
I feel more present, less stressed, and my mind feels clearer. I want to try it too. Any tips for beginners? Start with short sessions, be patient, and don't judge your thoughts. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Let me know how it goes for you. I will. I'm excited to experience inner peace. Mindfulness meditation can definitely help with that. Good luck. Going on a boat cruise sounds so relaxing and peaceful. Yes, I love being on the water and feeling the gentle breeze. It must be wonderful to see the beautiful scenery from the boat. Absolutely. The views are breathtaking and so serene. I imagine the calm waters make for a smooth and pleasant trip. That's right. It's so soothing to sail without any disturbances. Do you think we'll spot any wildlife during the cruise? It's possible. Sometimes dolphins or seals can be seen swimming nearby. That would be incredible. I hope we get to see some. Me too. It would make the experience even more memorable. I'm also excited to just relax and enjoy the tranquility. Yes, being away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life is refreshing. I can't wait to go on this boat cruise and unwind. It's going to be a wonderful getaway on the water.